girl. Hey. Oh, wow. You? you are trying some new intros, aren't you? <laughs> this is. Well, um... I thought I thought I thought that you know that I didn't need to scream at the dear listeners every single time, just most times. But I thought that's what keeps them awake when they're driving. <laughs> Fine. Hey, girl. Hey. So yeah, it's um, perfect. Remember the travel nurse that we're doing this specifically for. That's, that helps that's, her. That's right? that's very true. That's very true. <laughs> uh, I, I would like you to know that this past weekend, this past week, I should say, uh, mm-hmm. my throat has been a little bit sore. Dear listeners, we have another podcast, You Slay Me. Dear listeners. And on it, I, I do voices badly. You... <laughs> I don't think I don't think they were bad at all. <laughs> I thought I thought they served the purpose that we needed them to serve. Oh, well, they served the purpose, whatever that was. Comedy, I suppose. Comedy, <laughs> comedy, comedy. Uh, yeah. so, but the, the one I do a very bad sling blade ish. That was voice. totally sling blade. I was. That was Sling Blade. <laughs> it hurts my throat, apparently. It hurts my throat. <laughs> I was like, I took a COVID test just to make sure. <laughs> you Sling Bladed so hard, you thought you had COVID. Wow. So, dear listeners, I just want to throw a shout out. Shout uh, it out. We're shouting out. <laughs> to, to, to Kimchi Cosmetics. Kimchi Cosmetics, you can sponsor us. You can if you want to. I am currently wearing a lipstick color called Kimchi Pasta. That is is it's the color of tomato sauce. It's fantastic. It goes on smooth. And the cutest part, Mame, I want to show you this. Can you see this? Oh, this, that's this? adorable. Oh it's no, that's not down. The, that's not so, the best part. Okay. The best oh here you go. Okay, I'll do it this way then. The best part is how it opens. You push oh. the button, it pops <gasps> out. Still stays in, and there oh, it is. Oh, that's neat. It, like, locks in place. Locks in place so you won't lose it or anything. Then, boop, and out. So, definitely for uh, for our dear listeners out there, uh, the Divine Miss Mims is going to take a picture of her lips and a picture of the tube, and we're going to put it on our Instagram. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. I will send it to Mame to put on the Instagram. So we can tag Kimchi Cosmetics. <laughs> Oh, and the Twitterverse, and the Twitterverse, girl, right. and the Twitterverse, right? Oh. Exactly, Kimchi. I also really love. Not that you're listening to this. There's a color called red cabbage. That's the color of like red cabbage. That purple. Oh, red. that's actually a lovely color too. Oh yeah, it 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 goes right to my wheelhouse of Never. colors. I love. Remember back in the 80s when everybody was trying to be natural with their egg dyeing and they would use red cabbage for one of the egg dyes? For yeah, Easter? beet juice and, and like that basil or some shit that turned out yeah. a horrible color green. <laughs> Dandelion, I think, for yellow. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work at all. What oh. were we thinking back then? Just chemi- chemical companies knew what they were doing. Yes, 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 they did. Yes, they did. I had something else to tell you. Oh, 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 do you know what I did this weekend? How could I possibly know that? I mean, we message a lot. I mean, true, but you didn't really <laughs> message me. You haven't messaged me much this weekend, so I don't know what well, you It's doing. because on Friday night, Auntie Mame, on Friday night, I got into a car with two lesbians and my husband. And we went to downtown Raleigh. Auntie Mame, do you know what we did in downtown Raleigh? I, we we saw Go Go Boys at Flex. You went to Flex. You actually went out. I did. Oh I my did. gosh! Wow, I'm it very was, I'm impressed. Thank you. You know, Flex is not. It's changed a lot, and not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's only so much a bomb shelter can change. It, it, they they put in like a handrail for the uh, in the middle of the like the stage area. They push the stage all the way back. They put in a handrail to the to where the Go Go Boys could like uh, hang up on the ceiling a little. 
none of them were skilled enough to do that much with it, mind you. But, but, but. I mean, I literally, I live in a place where our drag queens basically do death drops off of the tops of double decker buses. Yeah, so, do you do that? No. Why would, <laughs> I, why would I ever do that? I mean, like, I actually have to worry about insurance premiums and things like that. I can't just turn around and do a GoFundMe once I break my tibia. <laughs> See, this is why when I was when I was doing drag, I still, you know, am a drag queen, but I always called myself a female comedic impersonator. Because That's a good way of putting that. I ain't doing that shit. Like yeah. my ass, my ass no. ain't doing splits. No. My ass is barely dancing. No, I'll no. sing a little, not well. Yeah. I, I I I'll host a show. I'll host oh, you a show. Will, and I talk talk for a damn minute. You will host the house down boots for a show. It's true. It's true. I still tell you. I still tell you. Though some of those times, like dear listeners, something you gotta understand in like cities like Raleigh when it comes to uh, gay clubs and that sort of thing. It's it's a college town as well. So we've got we've got built in population, but the younger kids who go out. If it's exam time or the summer, the kids aren't there during the week, right? And my the drag show that I hosted was on a Thursday, so exam time on a Thursday, nobody was there. But I kid you not, those. I times, mean, there was still it was a good amount of people. Yeah, at there, your was, shows. there was still like there was there was like fifty people instead of like a hundred and fifty people, it was, right? It's a good amount of people. Yeah, but you know what? I kept those people there and drinking. You did. They actually, did not leave. They would. They would have IVs of PVR, and yeah, I um, don't know how. <laughs> Lead by example, boo. Lead by example. God. Yee, oh Lord, them was the times. Oh my gosh. I I found I got a Facebook reminder of no. a day that that I was out of just out there at the bar. And one of my friends had met me, a bartender who was also there, was a friend of mine, just met me out at the bar, and we apparently drank to 2.30 in the morning on a Thursday night, and I had to wake up at like 8 o'clock in the morning for work the next day. And I just, my Facebook was like, I don't know why I did this. And 10 years were... later, I'm still having that hangover. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now it's just called your 40s. Now that's your hangover at this point. Oh, uh, and there's a cute little absinthe bar in Raleigh now. What? Yeah, yeah. We 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 went out on the town. We had some fish. Not we went some to fish, an absinthe lady. bar. Was it fried fish? Mine was. Oh, okay, good. I ain't gonna That's lie. Sad. I had a calabash basket. I couldn't just not. I mean, if you gonna have it, you better have it. <laughs> like, dear <laughs> listeners, there's a specific kind of fried fish. Mm. That was invented in Calabash, North Carolina. Mm. Fried shrimp, fried Lord. oysters, fried yes. fish, yes, fried Lord. clams, fried fried, Woo. with some hush puppies. Woo! Not some hush puppies! Girl, yeah, and like homemade cocktail and tartar sauce. Ooh. Ooh. And this place just has to be in like a, a one of the little uh, food court, food hall thing. Oh, y'all are doing that now too? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it, it's, it's, uh, ate some raw oysters and then ate some fried fish and drank a lot of drinks. Do you eat raw oysters? No. Why not? I can't. I just, I tried okay. once when I was like six and, um, I remember very distinctly, it was like a gymnastics routine. Um, the oyster went down my throat and it bounced right back up. And my dad got so mad because I wasted an oyster. I'm just going to say, you may want to try it again. Okay, because I've had slimy soap down my throat before since then. I, look, I didn't want to say that with Mama Mame <laughs> listening in, but you, <laughs> but you know, if you're going to say it, I ain't going to deny it. <laughs> I, I, just, I just felt that joke coming as soon as you said it. I'm oh like, no, there was going to be no coming. Um, <laughs> uh... Dear listeners, I'll, my I'll, dear listeners, I'll, my yeah, my mother, my mother does, my mother does actually listen to this podcast. So when you hear me sound kind of shocked and appalled, you were the one who made the joke. I was just gonna let it go. I just made it early because I, I thought you were coming. I thought you were headed no. with it. 
I thought I, you were going to do it. I, 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 I was not going to get jiggy with it. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, speaking of jiggy with it, somebody uh-huh. actually for the first time of me hosting uh-huh. karaoke, somebody finally sang Will Smith's Miami. <laughs> I was like, what? I started happening. I was like, how has this never happened so far? This is the first time in like two months somebody's actually sang this song. Bienvenido, Ami Ami. It was cute because it was like this heterosexual couple. And um, it was adorable because she had like a very like high pitched voice. And she's like, bip, 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 bip. I was like, this is adorable. I was like, are you guys visiting? Like, we just moved here. It's like, okay. <laughs> well, come on back next week and tip a bitch. That's what I told him. I was like, I'll be here every Thursday. Bring you five. No, I can bring you five. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> You you aren't even you are skipping right out all up ahead. Look, them people try they always asking me for stuff. They're like, butt me up, or can you do this? Or can you do it? I'm like, sure, give me a damn tip. I get I guess you shouldn't ask for ones. You're liable to get socket to wea thrown at you. I ain't want that. I ain't gold want that. Coins. I ain't want gold that. Coins. No. Throw them at you. No, Throw I don't want you. that. I don't want Throw that. At you. So Throw yeah, so and and I just recently people have started being like, "Do you got Venmo?" I'm like, "Yes, I do." <laughs> if that means you'll give me more money. Speaking of money, yeah, you know, yeah. Patreon says we should mention this at least <laughs> five times an episode. So, which we haven't technically gotten to the episode that we're supposed to be talking about. <laughs> so, before we start this episode, this is a gentle reminder, dear listeners. A gentle, gentle. reminder, like gentle. I sometimes have to tell my coworkers. Give them a gentle reminder when they do something wrong. However, you're not doing anything wrong, but we would love it if you. You're not doing anything. You're technically not doing anything. So, we we have a Patreon. We would love your support. It's Baking Sugar Pop. No, just Baking Sugar. You can find us at Baking Sugar at Patreon. Throw us some money, please. Are are those some old stale candy corn? Yes. Okay. Good. Well, on that note, let's get into this episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is episode, season two, episode five. How did you know they were Happen stale? Half an air bubble off. What? How did, how did you know they were stale? Because they're candy corn. They've got limited shelf life. As soon as you open that bag, you got about three days. Anyway, oh, half an air I, bubble I, off. I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I, I, I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I'm Julia Sugarbakers. And that, Marjorie, just so you will know, and your children will someday know, is the night. The lights went out in Georgia. The lights went out. The lights went out. The lights went out. The lights went out. out. That is the night. The lights went out in Georgia. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Well, now you do. Half an air bubble off. Yes. Half an (laughs) air bubble off. (laughs) Jesus. (laughs) This has been... This episode of Making Sugar, Season 2, Episode 5, Half an Air Bubble Off. Thank you. May, why don't you tell them where they can find you? I hate you right now so much. <laughs> oh, oh, my, my side all, all, all kidding aside, all kidding aside, we're at Sugar Bakers. Yes. Um. Anthony, we, we, we've got a new cuss. We've got a new client. His name is Mr. Tyson. That's right, Mr. Tyson. Which, which dear listeners, you may not know, is a large Southern name, right? Mm-hmm. Tyson's chicken. Yes. It's from the South. Oh, yes. And, like, it is it is a big Southern name. His name, I believe, is Lamar Tyson. Lamar. <laughs> Lamar. <laughs> Lamar. <laughs> Anthony's at Mr. Tyson. And yes. and he just Charlene says he just loves Anthony, loves him, and Anthony even sat for a portrait with him. <laughs> Which I personally, when that got started, I was like, "Where's this episode going again?" Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you know, there's a lot of racism that could be happening right now. 
Well, there's a lot of racism, but there's also a lot of like, like a lot of like gay adjacent types of jokes yes. as well. And I was kind of like, oh, is it one of those episodes? What? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. So, so Charlene pulls the painting out, <laughs> and and it's it's a stick figure, a long stick figure with a top hat on. <laughs> to which Suzanne says, it doesn't even look anything like Anthony. And Charlene says, no, he doesn't even have that kind of hat. <laughs> I laughed a lot. I laughed a lot. I mean, following up on the previous episode, which was Oof. dark and dark. sad. Yes. This 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 is this is a much more welcome like Breath of fresh levite. Air. <laughs> levite! <laughs> The new fragrance from <laughs> this men's levite. <laughs> it smells like stale candy corn. It does. <laughs> Just like her. <laughs> I, I don't what's going on here. Um so so Mary Jo's entering. And and she says, Mr. Tyson is off his rocker, right? Yep, yep, And yep. dear listeners, we apologize, uh, or at least I will apologize now, we may say things like crazy and nuts and that sort of thing. We mean eccentric, I That's believe right. is the phrase that we're, we're meaning right now. Which, I mean, um, you're, jump, you're jumping ahead a little bit. Yeah, 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 but but it's it's used, a, like nuts is used a lot in this episode. Yes. Um, because in the 1980s, they didn't care about mental health. I just love like this part here where they talk about the Rothkos as well. <laughs> they're like, we should have caught on because because that's who referred him. And they're like, and they're nuts too. Yeah, because they like to dress up like police officers. What did that mean? I don't, I don't even know. See, I remember the eighties people dressing up as police officers and using blue lights, pull people over, and like murder and rape them. That's what I. Oh remember. man, I forgot about that happening yeah. in the eighties. That's right. Yeah, the, they had passed blue light laws to stop that. Where were they called the blue light bandit? Right, that was the yeah, name for that person. Yeah, yeah. Girl, That's do right. you remember that time we had that creepy clown at the Lakewood Park? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then we, a few years later, we had a repeat offender creepy clown. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think, that, dear listeners, I don't think the creepy clown ever actually did anything besides be creepy and show, show his private parts to a couple people. What's wrong with our city? What is wrong with our city? You know who I always pictured whenever they said creepy clown? Who? The dude from uh, uh, In Living Color. Um, oh, yes. Uh, homie the clown. Homie the clown. I know that that's wrong. I mean, the person was probably white. But you know it's just... Okay, so let me say this, just so you know, right? Okay. I don't know about you, but I really had a feeling that we probably know who the creepy clown actually is. I'm sure it's one of our old friends. No, like, we were too young. That was eighth grade. I'm sure, I'm sure we probably know who, I'm... Or at least it was one of their fathers, you're probably right. We had some, we are, some of our friends were amazingly eccentric, and I would not be surprised. Then again, with that said, are any of them actually going to go all the way out to Lakewood Park? Oh, that's that, true. That was, that was a hike. That was, that was a hike. hike. You're right, actually. They, they aren't going to walk there. No. If, if it was at East Middle or East Elementary, uh, <laughs> on the fitness trail of East Elementary, could you imagine? Girl. Oh, like, that extra little loop they had to add to make sure it was a mile. <laughs> now y'all gotta go around this loop three times. Three times. <laughs> and it is to make sure it's a mile. I forgot about that. And it's not like they didn't have the land to do it bigger. They could have done know, it. I know, right? Anyway. Oh, cool. like, we <laughs> we're talking about we're talking about crazy people. Remember they that's said right. crazy they're good. Suzanne's like, I don't think any of this is wrong. Crazy people should be fleeced just like everyone else. You have you have skipped Way far ahead. Did I? You missed the religious figures. Oh, that's right. I forgot to yeah, jot we, that we, note we, down. We, 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 I know, I know. That's why you let me do the plot. Well, you're I the brain. You're the brains of the operation. I, I know. Let me do my job. <laughs> you've, all, you've always been the brains of the operation. I know. You're the talent. Mm. <laughs> I'm the likable one. 
well, some people like them a little surly. <laughs> that's, that's who I attract. And you're just the generally likable sociopathic one. That's why we're that's... <laughs> I'm both sociopathic and empathic. I'm a double pathic. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable with holidays, people. <laughs> <actually> anyway, <laughs> so so that they they did. He he wanted his religious figures covered up because he didn't like the nudes. Yeah. So they had to make little cloth bikinis <laughs> for them. And and like Julia's like, well, you know what? Money is tight. Money again, which I tight. which I wrote I wrote down they're tight again because they did not have a Patreon you see oh that's so the... mo- money money is tight and they 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 need to keep him and he also wants canvas halter tops for the fire hydrant <laughs> and it took me a second to think about oh the fire hydrant's got like three nipples on it <laughs> like what <laughs> what. That like, tells you that they live in a big city, though, right? And Mary Jo's like she thinks it's unfair that they that they do it. That's where Suzanne says the comment about the police. Oh my gosh! Oh, so, so now 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 the girls go into a discussion about the difference between crazy and eccentric. And Char- Charlene said, "Well, you know, in New York, they're crazy. They're going they're going to end up like a killer." Um, and then in but in the South, or you like in Poplar Bluff, Poplar Bluff, they're probably going to just end up eccentric, be named Nub or Digger, and ride around a little wagon, which led me to remember, oh no, one of our local people, eccentric people, who 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 used to ride around on a moped everywhere. I think his name was Red. Was that Red? Oh my gosh, Red! I forgot. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Rain, sleet, snow, sunshine—you always saw red on that moped. Yeah, see, yep, yep, oh yep. My gosh, and I don't, I don't think anything like that again. I never really had a conversation with Red. I don't think there was anything mentally othered about him. He was just eccentric. Yeah, he was just an eccentric person. I mean. Yeah. A moped in a, a city like ours, where or city, a moped in a city that was spread out like ours, that's a crazy person because yeah. there's it's no short distance to anything. I, I mean, the, there was. Oh, we won't talk about that. <laughs> so Mary Jo is like, you know what? Just like in previous times, I want to hand this off to you, Julia, because I can't deal with it. Yeah, you know, she was sexually accosted at that one time, and now she has to deal with the person who's really eccentric. Yep. So she's just, she's just gonna hand it off. She's done. The now, end done. Julia uh, huh. is, I mean, once again, is like, oh sure, I'll do it. <laughs> like, yes. I'm like, why don't you do more of these? Right? Like, why did you, why did you do more of these? Because she's the brains and the money. She's not the money, apparently, Carol. <laughs> She's it's always time. I don't know. She has a hair appointment later on. We find that out. <laughs> it must be a great clip because it can't be a window bear fancy if money is tight. <laughs> so Bernice comes in. Bernice Clifton comes in in a wig. With, I mean, we are we are going to. Nobody pays attention. It's a wig, but that is a wig. The audience clapping ferociously. <laughs> They're so excited. Bernice! <laughs> If I had been if I had been any of the other people on the show, I would have immediately said, um, maybe Bernice is getting to be too popular. <laughs> so we learned that Bernice's television is broken and therefore she's on every channel when she's watching it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and we also find out that she's nominated for Mrs. Senior Citizen. She wants Suzanne to coach her. Yep. And and Susanna re- uh, at first says no thank you. I know, which no, was not you. cool. So so Julia does the classic southern southern thing. I need to show you something in the fridge. <laughs> and Suzanne immediately is like, "Why?" <laughs> <laughs> which I have to say, that's like 
that was definitely one of the they haven't had this in a long time that was such a very sisterly moment they haven't had one of those in a long time Uh uh-huh the tone and everything else i was like oh they haven't done this in a bit and but but in suzanne's defense she's like you know what bernice calls me every night and julie's like she doesn't call me like just to talk about silly stuff like don't you think that the dancing on that rapist's television show is funny is a little silly could you be more specific the audience is not sure who you're talking oh, about bill cosby bill cosby that rapist <laughs> gosh <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean no yeah, i mean I, a, spa- a spade is a spade it's just you know give the people if they haven't watched this episode they're not gonna know what you're talking about that's true that's true i mean how how many rapists had their own show in the 80s that we know of fair, <laughs> fair. so 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 uh suzanne says she'll do it Charlene offers to do her makeup, mm-hmm. and which was frightening to me. I was like, "Why is it, why is it, why why?" And Bernice goes into a tirade about Olita Daniels making fun of her. Like, and she, she's like, I, "She just said that you know, I could say one one smart thing or whatever is my talent. Oh, say something that makes sense for a change. Mm-hmm. Her real talent's gonna be fiery." <laughs> so, 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 Mr. Tyson, uh, Bernice leaves, and Mr. Tyson comes in. They, they pass. They pass. They uh, pass. They pass. They pass. Like, like two ships in the night. Like two tugboats in the night. Two dinghies in the night. <laughs> hey, I see what you did there. <laughs> hey. hey. It was difficult. One little dinghy, two One. little dinghy, three little dinghies. <laughs> Why don't you ever do a laughing sketch with that wig? You could be oh, yeah, uh, Lily true. Tomlin. Yeah, that's true. I don't yeah. know. I feel like I should uh, do like a. I, I, man, that would be a fun podcast. What? Ooh, a laugh Watching podcast. laughing. Yeah, oh my God, I, I, it'll be ooh. part. It will be almost like a little bit historical. Like we can maybe get classified into a different genre of podcast with that. Well, I classify our own genre of podcast, but uh, we like I don't. I always just choose TV and comedy. I don't know. It's what we do, kind but, of. But laughing was so far ago, we could put in historical also. Oh, historical. We... Yes. Oh, this episode. Of laughing with Vince and Mame. Former President Richard Nixon made an appearance to say, I am not a crook. <laughs> no, it, that one was actually, Sock it to me. Why did I just make him into a cranky sailor? I don't know. <laughs> Dear listeners, these are the voices you can look forward to on You Slay Me. I was like, Where did You Slay Me just got interjected into our I podcast know. just now? I don't know. So Mr. Tyson's here, and I wrote down here he's a bit off. A bit off. A bit off. <laughs> he's a bit off. He meets Julia. Yes. Um, and he's like, "Well, well, where, Sugar Baker? I know that name. How do I know that name?" Poor Anthony. And Anthony explains it to him, and he gives him pieces of his own personal <laughs> clue. Yes. Like. <laughs> Maybe he thought, you know what I thought though? Okay, so this dude is supposed to be super rich, right? I was Uh like, maybe his personal clue collection is full of like precious metals and like those are actually worth something. I mean, who knows? Probably not. I'm trying to give him some some credit. I'm trying my best. So he, he, and good job for Reshack Taylor. Not losing his mind here. Like, <laughs> not even giving the impression he's losing. I would have... I don't know if we could have gotten to a take of this. Like... Uh, it probably took multiple takes to do it. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> so, he, he wants to see some new prints for his couch. As long as they aren't sexual. 
He doesn't care what other people are doing in their own homes, but not on his couch. That's right. <laughs> I I love how. Oh man, this the guy in this this particular thing. He's actually quite good. I mean, his, his is, character, his his delivery, his everything else. Like he has that weird vacantness to his like deliveries, and I'm like, man, he's actually quite funny. Oh, so Julia, poor Julia. Poor, yeah, poor Julia. It, it it pans to commercial comes back, and he he he's like. He wants to put aluminum foil on his walls because yeah. lightning's getting ready to strike. The television is dead, and he knows because his, his servant's eyes have turned red and their hair standing on end. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, no, 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 no. You'll have to see somebody else to do that. And he's like, okay, well, you just pick somebody out. Whoa. May I call you Julia? Whoa. Yes, of course. May I call you Sugar? Keep taking a step too far, Mr. <laughs> Tyson. It's too far. So from this point on, he only refers to Julia as Sugar. As sugar. <laughs> Even though she specifically said, don't do that. I know. So she goes over to Mary Jo. Step, 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 step. <laughs> I just need all this rocker he is i don't think he's normal maybe this is just the way he socialized turns around he's right there <laughs> okay so I her gasp i just her gasp about this scene right uh -huh. is number one um sugar bakers is not that big of a place no so uh -huh. there's just no way that this guy's not hearing that entire conversation there's no way so, so she, she, Julia's like, well, you know, Mary Jo's going to take up your, your job again because I'm getting ready to have a surgery with a big long, uh, recovery <laughs> period, and he goes into this spiel about the big white packet and all of this stuff, and I had to Google exactly what kind of a car a packard is. <laughs> Did you see what it was? Oh, I knew what a packard is from all oh, the old movies that I've watched. Oh, that I did. I didn't know. I. I was it's a big big it's, it's big it's it's kind big. of it's, it's kind of stupid big he, he he leaves he leaves and julia's like he's not a number <laughs> <laughs> which when i like on on surface it's funny but the more you think about it it's kind of like so are you saying so are you saying that he might be a killer <laughs> exactly exactly because that's what i thought so now, now it's the next day or a couple days later, and we're at Sugar Bakers. Um, like Julia's sitting there trying to design a glass cha glass case for his wardrobe. Now I, I didn't know which way to take this. Does she mean glass case for his clothes, or gl glass case for like his chest of drawers, or that have his clothes in it? Like the term wardrobe. Like how are we using the wardrobe? Yes. I I personally, based on all of the jokes, I think it was option A. That like he wanted almost like a glass closet. See, I, I that's what I thought first, but then I thought, how much crazier is it to have a wardrobe inside of a glass case that you have to go into to get your clothes out of? I just so for <laughs> like damn it. So I think for gosh now. Yeah, we, but don't don't think practically. Don't we have a friend that we can call that's an engineer right now to be like, which one of these makes more sense? Neither. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. I yeah. Neither. So so uh uh Mary Jo walks in, she's late because Quentin needed to be she was a carpool person and um He's got four uh, girlfriends. He's got girlfriends, but uh, four girlfriends. Uh, Julia was needing the plans for the doghouse, the second floor of the doghouse. <laughs> they just keep throwing more and more ridiculous things in. Yes. <laughs> now, so Quentin, Quentin does have four girlfriends, and the first graders, yes. name, yeah, are, are very ahead of their time. Are they? They're all lip syncing. Did, we almost have it all by Whitney Houston, which I like, give us a few bars of that song. 
Did we almost have it all? Now, I would like to point out to you. <clears throat> real all quick. I get. Yep. Um, I would like to point out to you real quick. You do realize, and I don't know if you did this or not, but you do realize that we are the same age as Mary Jo's child. No, we are. Yes, we are. First grade. First grade. First grade. First grade. First grade. Mm-hmm. First grade 1987. We would have been in. First grade. Yeah, first grade, okay. <laughs> We're the same age as Mary Jo's kid. God. And, by the way, I, I that, was never means, that, obnoxious. that means that I, personally, mm-hmm. am very mature for my age because I was singing the entire Whitney Houston discography. Well, I must be even more mature because I was singing the entire Aretha Franklin discography. That's because your mother only listened to oldies music around you. <laughs> Magic 93.9. Oh, God. No, 961. 961. 961. 961. The they, oldie they... station. Oh, that's right. Oh, wait. 939 is the, uh, that was when I, that was in college. That was the oldie station. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was that was the Greensboro one, yes. Yeah. But nine six one out of well, it was Bob and Sherry in the morning. <laughs> Bob and Sherry in the morning. I forgot about them. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. <laughs> Are they still alive? I, I believe they're I believe they're still on the air on one seventy one seven nine. You better hush, Bob and Sherry. This is the greatest thing ever right now. I, oh I bet God. you they are. They were like two years ago. Bob and Sherry. Oh my gosh. Regardless of when, where, how you listen, Bob and Sherry sure will lighten up your day. <laughs> I mean, they were great. They were they were they were they were the puffiest of of uh morning uh stuff, right? Like wow, that's crazy. Yep. Bob and Sherry is a syndicated US radio program. Uh it's been 29 years. Uh-huh. Wow. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So I guess I was eleven when that one came out. So but still, it it's de- near and dear to my heart. Hurt <laughs> not your heart. My heart. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> oh wait, they were fired this year. They were fired? Yeah. Why? It, sa- it says here, uh, Fans notice Charlotte-based morning show has been off the air for a little while. This was this year. Uh, Bob and Sherry, jeez, oh, Bob and Sherry are looking for a new radio home after being let go from WLNK Charlotte. Why? Why were they let go? Uh, I, it doesn't really. Uh, oh my god! Ask. Oh my god! It says the outlet reports that the station has made. The decision to move the programming in a new direction and the morning show unfortunately didn't make the cut. Wow. 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 But they still have a podcast. Good for them. That's crazy. Oh, that's funny. April. It was April of this year. Yeah. Wow. That's really nuts. Wow. Hold on here. Let's go all the way to the wiki. 41. <laughs> Um, oh wow it it just it just didn't that's so they said Bob Sherry scheduled for moving KQ and my uh, hair doing how I am you have a okay I'm sorry Bob and Sherry but if you're listening to this we support you we do we are team Bob and, and Sherry unless somehow you guys are somehow anti-vaxxers or racist or homophobic or transphobic or yeah. Yeah. Uh, then we don't. Yeah. Or eat a yeah. Chick Fil A. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like because they aren't buying it. <laughs> Look, it's 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 it's. I I I personally do not buy Chick Fil A, but I have friends that do, and i have you know, in in the in the long and short of it all, the chicken is addictive. Like, I I don't think that Chick Fil A is addictive, personally, but that's just me. You don't have many white friends, do you? I have too many white friends. Oh, okay. Then. <laughs> let's let's see. So Bernice comes in, and we find out she can't do her talent. 
because of what? a dent- potential de- denture explosion. What? Oh my god, the cat, the cat, the cat's taking a poop. I apologize. The cat is taking a poop. <laughs> so if you hear scratching and like, I heard a little bit. I heard a little bit. His entire litter box just moved like four feet back. I'm like, good <laughs> lord, cat. <laughs> uh, so everyone's too busy tonight to help Bernice get ready for her little pageant thing. It's which is just heartbreaking. It is. It is. So so she's like, well, okay, I'll go and dry myself and go get some other stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she said, when I'm sitting on that pillow, I'm king of the road. Because she taught herself how to drive. That's exactly right. <laughs> Followed by, you can only get the bird so many times where it starts to hurt your feelings. <laughs> so many good lines in this one. My, my, my dear husband thought, she said, hit the bird. He's like, did she kill birds? I'm like, no, no, no. Get the bird. For those of you that don't know, it's the middle finger. I don't know if that phrase is used all across. It's not. Time. It's not used okay. the same anymore. It's not even. I don't think it's used frequently with like people younger than us at this point. If I use the t- word "bubbler," do you know what that is? Bubbler. Bubbler. Uh, I know. I I know the word, but I can't remember why I know the word. What is it? it it's it's specific to like Wisconsin and Rhode Island, uh-huh. and it means water fountain. Oh, yeah, I have heard that. I mean, I've heard it in old movies before. Yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's because the company that made them was Bubbler. Oh! And it's and it's only specific to those like they, those two areas. Oh, so it's like uh, over in England where they call uh, vacuuming hoovering. Yes. Cool. That's a neat little factoid to find out today. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you're you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. You know, I love stupid facts like that. Tyson Call. <laughs> oh, what does he want? Lightning struck his dead. Dang it! Now well, he, he did. He said it was going to happen. And, and television is dead, and now he's on every channel. That sounds familiar. So Julia says to come on over tomorrow too. That time that Bernice's supposed to come on back. Oh, so that they can meet for finally. <laughs> so now we fast forward to the to best, that, to that fateful day. The greatest, the greatest moments. So Tyson comes in. As Bernice is practicing. <laughs> and Ju- Ju- he introduces himself. Julia flies over to explain who she is in this weird copper outfit. Like, yeah. this outfit is, is a fan. bananas. I do not know how that passed a screen test. They're running out of costumes. I will, however, note, note that Suzanne is in a red dress. And this is the first instance that I can remember. Of taupe hills with red dress. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dear husband was like, "What was the thing with taupe hills?" I was like, I, "In the eighties, people thought it was it went such with a everything. thing. They did. They thought it went. They thought it was. They they thought it was like the shoe equivalent of nude pantyhose, right? And and especially with red, like yeah. it, everybody loved it with red. I think it looks horrible. Well, I just don't know why you just don't get some damn red shoes." Yeah, that looks better. Or black, red or black, or one black. or the other. Black. Even even navy or blue. White. See, we're, yes, we're, even we're, white we're, works. We're listed all these colors: purple, yellow. If you'll look like Ronald McDonald or what, what was named that horrible drag queen, Tina all, burnt her. Tina, all of those go with red. Yeah. You know what doesn't go with red? Taupe. Taupe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. So we found out the pageant is actually this Saturday. Mm-hmm. And everyone has plans. There was a miscommunication. Everybody thought it was next Saturday. That's right. But everybody has plans for this Saturday. Except, you know who doesn't have mis- doesn't have plans? Tyson. Mr. Tyson. Oh, yeah. He says, we can ha- after the pageant, we can have a midnight picnic under a billboard. Bernice is like, we'll see. <laughs> I like moments where they make Bernice seem smart. It's my favorite. I mean, she is. That's no, that's, no. that's the whole. That's what, like I, I enjoy those so much because she delivers those lines so perfectly. I can't wait for that episode. That episode is one of my favorite episodes. But we'll mm. get to that later. 
God. So everybody's late to the pageant. Mary yep. Jo and uh, Mr. Tyson are sitting there. Mm-hmm. Bernice's talent was hitting her <laughs> cheeks to the tune of Dixie. Slapping Abraham, her cheeks to the Slapping her cheeks to the tune of Dixie. Which happens to be, I don't know if you know this, that was Abraham Lincoln's favorite song. Of course it was. Yeah, I mean, there were I don't know what other popular songs there were at the time. But I was going to say, were there any other popular songs? And I, but I, I, well, I mean, I guess the Battle Hymn, Hymn of the Republic would have probably been a popular song at the time. <laughs> I would love to see like the Billboard charts for 18, 1852 but, or something but, like that. But I will say, like, Dixie is a catchy. Oh yeah, no that it really is the melody of that song is I mean I myself catch myself still singing it like humming it. Oh to yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's that one and that one in uh <laughs> Hang Down Your Head Tom Dooley, which to this day I'm like, wow, they had elementary school kids singing this song. Hang down what? your head and cry. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Oh boy, you're about to die. We did you ever know if it's in the there's a little memorial to that to that uh, hanging know. place. Okay, I know. Okay. No, but it's still every time I think about it and I start humming that song, I'm like, we were children singing this song. One of my coworkers finally went up to Grandfather Mountain for the first time and crossed the Mile High Bridge. Oh, and I don't know if I don't know if you have you ever done this. Have you crossed the Mile High? No, no, of course not, because it's it's a mile high. So, <laughs> I don't even do well with on the roof of my house. What are you talking about? And so there's a lot of wind up there. Yes. So she made it, but this was apparently a very clear day. So she made it to the other side. Ooh. And she's like taking selfies and taking pictures. And her boyfriend was like, you know, if I really want to off you right now, I could just push you because there's no guardrail. Which led me to tell the story that woman who tased her husband, or no man who tased her, his wife and pushed her down the side of the mountain. That's right. God, North Carolina's got some effed up people. <laughs> people have but, died in really terrible ways in our state. Yeah, really I, terrible. I, I actually, I actually think it, that was they were from West Virginia. I could be wrong, but they still um, made it to our state. <laughs> so, so then Bern, it's Bernice's turn to walk the walk the runway. Oh, this is my I favorite. Sh- I turn. I swirl. <laughs> I move from side to side. I love it so much. God, and she's like having a ball doing it. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> so she comes back. They and I, they ask. They ask. Her wait. To give her state. What? Wait. What? I'm smiling, <laughs> but I'm also concerned about the troubles in the world. <laughs> ah. Huh. So then she gives a great speech about having four daughters, blah, 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 blah. It was beautiful. It was. Um, then she wins. That's right. Um, the the take, girls... Take, the girls that, have, take that, Lucy Lee. <laughs> Lucy. That was the name of the home. No, was it? Oh, no, you're right. That was the other woman. That was not, yeah. not, 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 not. That was, that, that was her other competition. Right. Oh my gosh! So, uh, Julia and the uh, the other women invite her out to dinner. She's like, "No, no, I have a date." Well, they said, "Well, that's thank you so much for the nice thing you said." She's like, "Well, he thought that it would sound good, so that's why I said it." <laughs> um, she Savage. tells Mister she Savage. tells Mister Tyson <laughs> to go pull up the Packard because she doesn't want to like drag her dress. He I- leaves. I think that was right. To personally, from a drag queen perspective, I thought that was great. I, I agree. He he leaves, and she's like, "I like him," but he's a little off the beat. Yes. End of episode. End of oh, glorious episode. What a beautiful bow for this entire weird episode. <laughs> so, Mame, did you find yourself a Miss Georgia World? Oh my gosh! Of course, I did. Miss Bernie's Clifton in her pageant gown. Oh, I had a different one. Okay, well, we're not always going to agree. No, I thought, not. I thought that with that little ostrich trim, the little ostrich feather trim, and and, and the fact that it was also pleated, I was like, "What is happening here? This is amazing." 
So my Miss Georgia World, it was amazing. It, it was my second place. Second place. My Miss Georgia World was Julia's all black dress at the very beginning Ooh, with, that, yeah. with the gold necklace. Yeah. Like, God, I want to give it to Bernice. I so want to give it to Bernice. No, you're but right. I can't. I can't. It is too good. That would look good today. Like yeah. a lot of this, a lot of this clothes is so dated. Yeah. Especially no. Mary Jo Shively's uh, wardrobe. Uh, her, her clothes make me sad. They they should. They should. <laughs> yeah, every every episode, I'm just like, why? Why do they keep doing this to her? You know, nobody apparently apparently the money shortage at Sugar Bakers is hitting Mary Jo especially. <laughs> especially. <hard. laughs> it's all those commissions she's not getting. It must be. It must be. Because she keeps giving her fucking work away. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, take this and my commission. Exactly. See, that's well, what the problem. But but is it is it Mary Jo like a, didn't she put money into this business too? I think all four of them did. I think so, yeah. I think they're equal, not equal partners, but I think they're... Anyway, did, did you enjoy this episode? Oh, this is literally, like, one of my favorite of, like, as soon as the gear started turning again, I was like, oh, wait, I yeah. remember this episode, and I love this episode a lot. It, it's it's a mess. Like, I, I, mm-hmm. I love it. It's, it's a better designed episode than... I feel like we went through this twice already. Once with the the, the the rich people, and once yes. with the person who tried to uh, sexually assault Mary Jo. Yes, it was sort of a combination of the two. Um, so, but I feel like it was done better than at least one of them. Yeah, no, I I, I right. think that well, once again, the show does its best when they just stick to one linear plot yep. and not yep. try to yep. do eight things at once. Yep. And Meshach Taylor. Although he did not have the that much to do, he handled it very well. I playing the straight man off of that guy off of that guy had to be so hard. I was so uh, hard. Now that you said that, though, I'm like I'm just realizing like he wasn't at the pageant. He was. Was he? Yeah, he was. She's the one who he who she says he's off his beam to. Oh, yeah. She's he was up, like he was so in the background in this episode. Yeah. He was sitting beside Mr. Tyson the entire time. Oh, I thought Mary Jo was sitting beside him. No, Mary Jo was behind. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless I'm unless I'm wrong, which I could be. You're never wrong. Oh, don't <laughs> lie. Don't lie to the dear listeners. Dear listeners, in case you didn't know, the Divine Miss Mims is never wrong. I highly suggest, speaking of never wrong things that I was very wrong at last night, I highly suggest you play the new Jackbox 8 group of games. Oh, I haven't gotten that one yet. Okay. It, they are fun. Okay. They are, th- th- this is this is the best update that they've had in a while. Really? Okay. Drawful or is now animated. Oh, and they, they, boy. And they've reworked the prompts to make it look like somebody quickly typed into a cell phone. And like, you could kind of tell before which ones they were by the punctuation and everything. Now the punctuation screwed up. The, the capitalization screwed up. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. I, I, I really like that one. And I really like Job Job. Just go try it. Like, okay. Get, get a group of people together. We well, yeah, actually, we're going to probably have a Friendsgiving anyway. So that'll be perfect. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just, I just felt, I just felt like something I should. Some, uh, uh, Mame, tell them where they can find you. I don't know what's going on anymore. So, dear listeners, uh, if you enjoyed this show, please make sure to like and subscribe it. Tell your friends about yes, it. Tell your family yes, about yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Like, subscribe, give us a five star rating if you feel so inclined. Review us. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you like. Please don't tell us what you don't like, because we probably aren't going to change or anything. We're probably not. Just, we're in our second season at this point, so we're entrenched. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. Other, other than that, uh, you can find me on Instagram at uh, auntie.mame. That's M-A-I-M. On Facebook at I'm your auntie mame, one word. 
Uh, if you're wanting to meet me in real life, you can actually do so if you're down in Miami Beach. I host uh, Amazing Colossal Karaoke every Thursday night at 10 p.m. at Kill Your Idol right off of the beach. So come have fun with us if you're down here vacationing. And I'm the Divine Miss Mims. You can find me at Divine Miss Mims on the Twitter. Um, you can find this podcast on the Twitter at Baking Sugar Pod. You just a reminder, we do have a Patreon. Baking what? Sugar. Do we? I know, right? We would love to have your cash money. <laughs> um, the, 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 I know that we have ads right now. As soon as we get enough cash money, we we will we will we will get rid of the ads. We will get rid of the ads. Um, because that the, the ads right now pay for about half of our monthly pay. So that's why I do that. I, I just just throwing it out there. I feel I feel like I'm a telethon. My God, would you like to have a telethon, girl? You know how much I love a telethon. I love a telethon. God, if we could just have a yearly Mims and Mame telethon. Oh, <laughs> we could be different characters. We could bring back dead actors that aren't around anymore. We we, we could, like, you You could be a villain. I could be at Flex. Oh, my God. And just have, like, like a like a little <laughs> video link between us. <laughs> <laughs> a 30 minute telethon a 30 oh. minute telethon the night of a thousand impression telethon oh God, wow we can do a night of a thousand stars let's just run back and forth each one of us changing outfits each time it's the fashion portion <laughs> dear listeners if you don't know what night of a thousand stars is uh, you should go look it up on YouTube. It's it's, it's especially the fashion part. Like it's oh, just man. people walking out in tucks and ugly eighties dresses. <laughs> They're not ugly. And these stars, these stars, <laughs> like stars. Okay, one or two big ones. <laughs> stars, and then the rest are like the entire cast <laughs> of Young and the Restless. <laughs> <laughs> Like, well, back then, those soap operas were bigger, so they were stars back then. I mean, now it would be like the stars from, oh god, what was the name of that TV show? Uh, uh, oh if, god, what is it if, called? I've got the books of the other, the Teeny Bopper Teen TV show with the, the like, the honey, girls, if they, if they did, the, if they did this now, they would have to start backfilling it with TikTok stars if they did this yeah. now. Night of a thousand TikTok stars. Could you imagine? So oh. many dance, so much dancing. Night of a thousand thirst traps. <laughs> that would be one of the sections. There would be yes. a, there'd be a thirst trap section. Yes. There would be a dance competition section. There would be a makeover section. <laughs> <laughs> then there'd be like that. That Chinese product yeah. review demonstration yeah. section. There'd be the Chinese section where they take off the putty and pull the things out of their nose. And then it'd be that person and then the other person who they've got behind. Yes. The transformation uh, person. Yes. <laughs> Oh. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Let's 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 make this happen. Let's <laughs> let's do this. Twitch, I think I feel like you're the ones who want to do this. If you're listening, if you're listening. All right, Mame. I I think I think we've spoken enough today. What do you think? I would agree. All right, girl. Uh, say good night, Mame. Good night, Mame. Good night, y'all. Bye.